my name is Anne Marie and today I am sharing my 6x6, six 6x8, by six, six by and 8.5x11 and paper storage. I really changed this up recently and there's some pros and some cons. First of all, here's a picture of my previous smaller paper storage. I had my 85 by 11 cardstock on its side, filed roughly by color, no container. And then my 6x6 and 6x8 paper pads were tucked inside this kind of longer, skinnier gray basket. I liked that this all fit in the cube, but that was pretty much it. <laughs> I didn't love that there was no physical separation between the colors, and I sometimes found myself cutting into a whole piece of 85 by 11 when I knew I could probably find something similar in the smaller papers, but they weren't sorted by color and so it was gonna be a big pain in the butt and so it felt easier just to grab from a whole new sheet which you know left me with a bunch of scraps so I decided to combine all of the smaller paper sizes so anything less than 12 by 12 went into the system and to sort all of those papers by color and the first step was to break apart all of my 6 by 6 and 6 by 8 paper pads this was really fun like I love this like seriously I really enjoyed this part. Um, on my organization videos, I will leave the camera running uh, so you can also go grab a project to work on at the same time if you'd like. I'll pop in and out at various points to talk about something in more detail and those timestamps are in the description box below if you'd like to just skip directly to those.
All right, so as I went, I was sorting my papers by color. I was also pulling out papers that I did not like. I gave those to my daughter. Um, I was pulling out any paper that was very specifically themed, like say Disney or recipes. And then I put it into my themed pattern paper storage. And there's a link to that video here. Um, and then I was also getting rid of a lot of trash. So this is a shot kind of of all the trash <laughs> um, that was taking up room in my cube space that could have been you know put towards that separation of color because that does take a little bit of room to pull those apart right um, or or something else and so i'm glad that i was able to get rid of that much dead space I assembled my Ikea Vessel off camera and it was kind of a bear because we had to remove and then replace the door on my Calyx. Um, but here's a shot of the finished revamped smaller paper storage. This Vessel letter tray is a very heavy piece. It is all metal and truly, truly solid. Everything clips into place to assemble so you can basically never unassemble it. So be aware of that. The shelves slide in and out. They are on runners that are only along the edge, so the shelves do have to stay in. They cannot be reversed because the lip um, would run into the back of the finished piece. I've put my miscellaneous materials like foam, acetate, and chipboard up on top. Then I have my red and pink on the top shelf, yellow and orange, and gold on the second shelf green and turquoise on the third, blue, purple, and rainbow on the fourth, and then neutrals along the bottom. Normally I would like to put rainbow with neutrals, but I had so many neutrals <laughs> and so few blue and purple, that's where I had room. So that's why those went there. So there's some pros and cons, like I mentioned earlier. My pros are that I love that the paper pads are all broken apart now and that they're integrated you know, across all those sizes. I love that. My cons are probably the sliding trays. I really like them, but the little lip does run into the hardware and the edges so they don't slide all the way out. And then that cork board that's on the bottom to prevent things from sliding around makes it difficult to make the paper come out. So like, it's difficult for me to slide my nail underneath. So I like it for now where it is. I'm gonna keep living with it for a while and seeing what I think. I think I would also enjoy it on my desktop or the top of my calyx to hold small card projects. That cork board along the bottom and the lip would allow me to put several smaller pieces on each little shelf without worrying about them spilling out when I'm moving it back and forth. So if you're interested in similar storage, I've included some Amazon affiliate links in the description box below to the Kvissel, but then to two other options that I'm also considering if I end up 
uh, deciding to change this out. All right, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking like or subscribing. I will see you next time and I hope you have a scrappy happy week. Bye.